What's up guys, Joker here with some Destiny gameplay, and today I'm going to show you how to beat Crota using mid-strategy on hard mode. To achieve this, you will need at least 5 level 32 players, and every player on your fire team will need to have a fully upgraded Galahorn. Now you will need to designate one player on your team as the person that will carry the sword and land the blows against Crota. And in this video, I'm going to refer to that player as the Sword Carrier. I recommend that this player be a Sunsinger Warlock using the Fireborn perk, as it can come in handy should things go south, should Crota change his pattern and get up much quicker than normal. Now I will say that you can also use a Hunter with a Blade Dancer invisibility build, however I do find that using a Warlock with self res is the much safer option. You also will need at least one Titan Defender using the Blessing of Light perk. More on that in a moment. Okay, so once you have taken care of all the enemies at the initial spawn point, and you have maximized all the orbs that can spawn, get everything you need. I would say hold off at this point from using any heavy ammo synthesis, save them for later as you will be returning to this room, and then cross the line to initiate the sequence and begin spawning all the enemies. Once you've left the initial room, you're going to have your entire fire team jump on top of the center ledge that's hanging out on the other side of that barrier that exists from the initial spawn room. And once you're up here, you're going to have two things happen. First off, you're going to signal to your Titan Defender to go ahead and make their way to the path along the right, with their objective being to reach the safe zone that's on this little platform atop the rocks on the right side. And secondly, you want to identify where the sword bearer is at and make sure that the sword carrier on your team be the only player that fires Galahorn rockets against that sword bearer, as you want to conserve the maximum amount of heavy ammo for the four players staying behind. Once the sword is down, once your sword carrier has picked up the sword, have that player be the one that signals to your whole fire team to fire on Crota. Now for the four players staying behind, you only need to fire one Galahorn round each. You don't need to unload, you don't need to go crazy, one rocket per player will suffice. Timing is everything here as you want your sword carrier to anticipate when Crota goes down for the sake of maximizing the total amount of blows that he or she will land on Crota. If you've timed it right, you should be able to land a total of four hits. Now this is where the Titan Defender comes into the picture. Your objective as the Defender is to place the shield down strategically where you're deflecting the shots being fired at you and the sword carrier from those knights on the right tower. You also want to make sure that the orbs that spawn in this bubble, although you can't see them, that they don't roll off the side or roll down the ramp. Now this is also why you use Blessing of Light instead of Weapons of Light like you were probably used to back in the days of fighting Atheon. Weapons of Light has zero effect on the total damage output of the sword when you're landing blows on Crota. Therefore, Blessing of Light is the more optimal choice as it gives your sword carrier some added protection should things get a little bit salty. You're going to bring him down a second time, and then you're going to bring him down a third time. And it's very important to note that on the third time that you bring him down, the sword will likely disappear halfway through the sword carrier landing blows. So you'll probably land two hits and then signal to your entire fire team to head right back inside to the very beginning room where you spawned at. Now as your whole fire team heads back inside, you're going to get a bombardment of fire from the knights on whichever boom tower is closest to the doorway you're choosing to go through. So here's where having a second titan defender with a bubble shield can come in handy as placing that shield down right at the doorway can be a lifesaver for some of your fire team members. Once everyone's made it safely inside, this is the time to use any heavy ammo synthesis and to get yourself prepared for the final battle. And as you have a brief moment, make sure that you make the time to taunt Crota a little bit and mess with him and get him as pissed off as possible, as his death is very imminent. You're also going to want to make sure that you identify and locate the sword bearer and keep a close eye on him as he has a tendency to wander off and go hide behind rocks on the left side. The instant that you see Crota start motioning going back to his initial spawn point, that is your cue for your whole fire team to head right back out and you are literally going to repeat the whole sequence again. You're going to bring Crota down a total of three times the way you did in the first sequence. However, this time there's one major difference, and that is that after the second down, when Crota gets back up, he will be enraged. Now, it's very important here that your fire team not get stressed out or worried about the Oversoul Glare spawning. 
you're going to repeat this cycle just the way you did the first time. So don't panic and don't worry about it. Crota gets back up, he's enraged, and you're all going to fire all the Galahorn rounds that need to be fired to bring Crota down a third time. And that should essentially give your sword carrier plenty of time to land the final blows on Crota. It's also important to note for the four players that stay behind against that center ledge, that thrall tend to spawn in that beginning area. So don't be surprised if you all of a sudden start getting hit from thrall behind you as they can reach you through that wall. So congratulations as you've beaten Crota on hard mode using mid strategy. I hope that these tips and tricks here today can help your fire team find success in beating Crota on hard mode. Like this video if you liked it, and let me know in the comments below how this approach and this strategy matches up to whichever strategy you use with your fire team to beat Crota. Thanks for hanging out and watching. I'll see you next time. Fire and up dead, run. All of you run, they can't kill all of us. I'm gonna laugh and kill all of us. <laughs> wow, the fucking curse are all gone. Oh, oh my god, Joker, you made it! I got it! <laughs> Joker! You fly a bastard! You saw my bastard! <laughs>